Today we'll show you how to repair a scratch on a CD using sandpaper, toothpaste and car wax. So what I have here is a DVD and it's a Mac operating system DVD and it's got scratched really bad by the DVD player inside the computer and now it doesn't read my DVD anymore. A scratch on the disc like this if you look at this this way and it's gonna look like this right but then the part where it's got scratch you're gonna get a deep groove so uh, the surface right here is not flat so when the laser shine on it instead of getting reflected back to the reader now it's not flat anymore so the light is scattered all over the place so the first thing I'm gonna do is to sand it down using my sandpaper this is 2000 grit sandpaper it's better to use something that is finer maybe 2500 or 3000 but this is the finest sandpaper I can find in my local hardware store this should do just fine and then after that I'm going to use my toothpaste uh, to sand it down a little bit more because inside the toothpaste it's got little particles of sand and it's even finer than this sandpaper not all toothpaste are the same the one that works best for me is this brand and is baking soda and uh, it's a little bit rough and I think that works the best because it got little particles of sand inside it and then finally I'm using my car wax to polish the surface the first thing you'll do is to prepare your booking surface it has to be soft and to protect your CD from being scratched on this side and this is the side you got the data on so you don't want to scratch this side so what I do is I just use a uh, piece of paper towel it's made by Viva and it's very soft I'm going to use my sandpaper and sand it down and because this is a wet sandpaper just going to give it a little bit of water and that should do I'm going to rub it in a circular motion very lightly I don't have to I don't have to press it all the way down just lightly is enough here you can see it's getting quite cloudy and the water also gets cloudy and I see some particle plastic coming out and that's a good thing because you want to remove the uh, material let me show you the cloudy water There's a lot of material being removed I've been scrubbing for the last 15 minutes and I can see that the concentric ring of scratches uh, slowly and slowly going away but it does take quite a while you can see I remove quite a lot of material these are the material coming from the surface thing about this is you gotta be patient and uh, when you scrub it just do it lightly don't press it down too hard just do it lightly but you have to repeat it so many times over a long period of time and eventually it will come out and you can see how cloudy that is this is a lot of material being removed from the surface so now I'm going to clean it up Just wipe it off clean here's what it looks like this is just by sandpaper you can see the concentric ring of scratches are gone next step toothpaste and I don't need much that should do a little bit of water and paper towel very fine paper towel it's made by Viva 
So you want to do the same thing as before. What I'm doing is I'm just doing on the scratches itself. I don't do the entire disc, just the part that got scratches. A little bit more water. Here it is after the toothpaste. I spent a good 10 to 15 minutes on it. You can see it actually made more scratches. But the scratches now are more uniform, but they are a lot shallower than the scratches before. Before I did this, you can see the concentric rings of deep grooves around, but you don't see it anymore. They are gone, virtually gone. So my final step is to use car wax to polish it up, shake it up a little bit, and then that should be enough. Don't need much. I'm gonna smear it around. Here we go, nice and shiny. Still has scratches, but these are shallow, not deep scratches. So it should be fine. Right, so I've got my laptop here, and uh, let's put it in and give it a try here. Let's see if it works. It's spinning. It's reading. There we go. Takes no time at all to read the disk. Next, I'm going to try and reinstall the operating system. So this means that it's going to have to read the entire disk. So here we go. It's just done installing the operating system. And I know this is a proper test because in order to install the whole operating system, it has to read the entire disk. So everything looks fine now. The CD is still inside the drive. Let me eject. There we go. Looks shiny. So there you have it, how to repair a scratch a CD using sandpaper, toothpaste, and car wax. If you have a CD that is a little bit scratch, then you can just use this. But you have to still have to buff it for a very long time. If you have a very deep scratch, then this is not going to make it. You're going to need to have some sandpaper to sand it down first. And even with sandpaper, the total amount of time for me to get this done is over half an hour. 15 minutes on this, 10 minutes on this, and another 5 minutes on this. So it does take quite a long time to get this done. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.